O oh God, our Father, we ask that you would invoke your blessing upon this service today. We pray that you would meet every need, every desire, every expectation, according to your will and your purpose for our lives. Let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer.
when you're anointing in this place, have your way. Send your anointing in this place. Send your for today is taken from the Gospel of John, the 20th chapter, verses 24 through 29. Now Thomas, called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see his hands, the print of nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand in his side, I will not believe. But after eight days, his disciples again inside, Thomas with them. Jesus came, the door being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hand. Reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord, my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet they have believed. like no other strength like no other reaches to me 
You are my strength, strength like strength like no other, strength like no other. Reach out to me in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name, you lift me up. Yes, you do, God. You lift me up. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. You lift me up. You are my hope. You are my hope. Hope like, hope like no other. Hope like, hope like no other. And it reaches, reaches to me. Lord, you are my hope. You are my hope. Hope like, hope like no other. Hope like, hope like no other. And it reaches, reaches to me. Oh, in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name. You lift me up. Lord, you lift me up, God. Yes, you do. You lift me up in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name. You lift me up. Yes, you do. You lift me up, God. You lift me up. You are you are my peace, peace like, peace like no other, peace like no other, and it reaches, reaches to me. You are my peace, you are my peace, peace like no other, peace like no other. Peace like, peace like no other, and it reaches, reaches to me. In the fullness, in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up, Lord, you lift me up. Could you lift me up, lift me up in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name. You lift me up. Yes, you do, God. You lift me up. You lift me up in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace in the power of your name you lift me up lift me up you lift me up you are you are my strength strength like strength like no other Reaches to me. You are my strength. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. And it reaches, reaches to me. Oh, it reaches to me. Reaches to me. 
Oh, it reaches, reaches to me. Oh, it reaches, reaches to me. The text for our, our message today is taken from the scripture that had been read earlier. But I don't want to pay attention to that um, B part of that 27th verse through the 29th. Do not be unbelieving, Jesus said, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you believe. Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet they have believed. We shall speak from the subject today, a believing faith. You can believe without having faith, but you cannot have faith without believing. Believing without faith is having to see the physical subject before you believe. Faith, on the other hand, is the assurance, the trust of the heart that gives us a confident attitude and belief in the promises of God that God will do everything he said he would do for us. The song says, God said it, I believe it, and that sells it. Faith is a part of the Christian life from beginning to end. That's why Paul could say, I know whom I have believed and am persuaded he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Thomas didn't have this assurance, not confidence. Although he was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus, Thomas is probably best known for his inability uh, to believe that Jesus uh, had indeed risen from the dead. His inability to believe led him to a spiritual deficit that bankrupted his living faith. So he was living a life of doubt and unbelief. His lifestyle of unbelief caused him to drift into the same path as the unbelieving father who brought his demon-possessed son to church to be healed by unbelieving disciples who couldn't help him. Upon Jesus returning from the Mount of Transfiguration, a large crowd came running towards him, greeting him, and a father in that crowd broke through and came and knelt before Jesus and said to Jesus, I brought my demon-possessed son to church today to be healed by your disciples, but they couldn't cure him. Jesus, the father said, Jesus, have mercy on my son. Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How, how long shall I bear with you? And Jesus said to the father of the child, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believe. If you have faith as a mustard seed, 
you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. With men, this is impossible, Jesus said, but with me, all things are possible. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the child was cured. Immediately, the scripture says, the father cried out with tears running down his cheek. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. This, this lesson helped to explain Thomas situation. He needed help with his unbelief. Thomas was not present uh, when Jesus first appeared to his disciples after the resurrection. When they told Thomas about Jesus' appearance, Thomas said, unless I see his hand, the print of the nails in his hand, and put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. I am very sure, I am very sure you will find some of Thomas's kinfolk in our churches today. They are good people. They just don't believe unless they see it first. This lifestyle is in opposition to the scripture. The scripture says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Eight days later, the scripture says, Jesus appeared again to his disciples, including doubting Thomas. Jesus did not have a conversation with Thomas. He did not ask him why he walked away from the church. He did not ask him what happened to his believing faith. Jesus invited Thomas to touch the nail prints in his hand and, and, and to put his hand in his side. Thomas' response was, my Lord, my God, I believe you have helped my unbelief. Jesus said to Thomas, because you have seen me, you believe. You have touched the nail prints in my hand. You have put your hand in my wounded side. And you believe. But blessed are those who have not seen what you have seen. We are among those today who were not privileged like Thomas to see the nail prints in Jesus' hand. We did not have the personal privilege like Thomas to put our hands in his wounded side. We did not have the privilege like Thomas to spend three years walking, talking, and living with Jesus, but we believe. We did not have the privilege like Thomas to sit daily in, and listen to Jesus teaching and preaching, but we believe his teaching that we read from the Bible. We believe Jesus is the Son of God. We believe that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We believe that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. We, we believe if we confess our sins, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive our sins 
and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We believe if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, we will be saved. We believe whatever we are, whatever call when we call on the name of the Lord, we shall be saved. We, we believe by grace we are saved through faith. And that's not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. We believe faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We believe faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We believe without faith it is impossible to please God. For he who come to God but believe that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We believe whoever or whatever thing we ask in prayer, believing we will receive. We believe everyone who asks receive, and he who seeks find, and, and to him who knocks the door will be open. We believe, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. We, we believe whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. We believe uh, he who soweth sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whosoever soweth bountifully will also reap bountifully. Give, we believe, give and it will be given back to you. Good measures pressed down, shaken together, running over, he will put into your bosom. But what measure you measure out, it will be measured back to you. We believe that God, with God all things are possible. We believe without Jesus in our lives, we can do nothing. We believe Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. We believe Jesus is the resurrection and the life. We believe Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, who is who was and who is to come, the Almighty. We believe Jesus when he said, I am he who lives, was dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore. I have the keys to hell and death. We believe today uh, that Jesus boarded a cloud ascended into the heavens we believe we believe Jesus has gone to prepare a place uh, for us and we believe someday he will return from his father's house to take us home to where he is we believe someday he will be coming back to get us and to take us we won't have to find a way ourselves, but he will come and get us. I want you to know today, as we ponder this, this life, tread through these dangerous situations, I want you to know that Jesus, you are the center of our joy. Jesus, we know you are the center of our joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You are the heart of our contentment for all we do. Jesus, we know you are the center of our joy. When we are lost, our direction, you are the compass for our way. 
You are the fire and light when night are long and cold in sadness. You are the life, uh, laughter and shadow of our fears. When we all alone, your hand is there to hold us. Jesus, you are the center of our joy. All this good, perfect come from you. You are the hope for all we do. Jesus, you are the center of our joy. Even in our sorrows, you are our hope for tomorrow. You are our joy and of our salvation. You are the center of our joy. Oh God, bless this day. Bless those who have given attention to their lifestyle to be upgraded from Thomas to become a believer. And although we were not there as Thomas, we believe in your word today. And your word has proven to be a guarantee for our request and our desire. Keep us forever in your presence. Be our guide, be our director. In the name of Jesus we ask, amen. There may be someone today who are listening to this message you don't know Jesus you have you have the privilege of becoming a believer allowing him to guide direct keep your life in line with his divine will and plan you can be saved you can become a believer today a faith believer a faith believing follower of Christ would you give him your life trust him with your life he's a friend like no other friend he will be with you always he promised he would never forsake us now leave us. He will be with us until the end. We pray God's richest blessing upon your lives. And we will pray for each other. Keep each other in prayer during this pandemic season that we are in. God can heal our land. And God can deliver us and make us whole again. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. May God bless you.